Hi, uh, welcome to episode two of In Air's Kitchen. I'm here with Clementine. We're gonna make popovers today. Um, this is the popover recipe. We're gonna publish it later. Uh, and we're also gonna talk to George Howell today and coffee, I think coffee and popovers might be a fun combination. We had some requests uh, from people wanting to learn how to make popovers. Uh, the recipe, we'll post it later. It's two and a half cups of milk, half a dozen eggs, two cups of all-purpose flour. You can try to make this with whole wheat flour, but it's really hard. And I've also tried making it with, but you can pull it off, but it's hard to do and you have to tweak some things. I've tried doing it with non-dairy milk and it's a disaster, it really doesn't work at all. Um, two teaspoons of sugar, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, and butter for a pan. So those are the ingredients we're gonna need today. Um, Clementine, should we get started? Yes. All right, you wanna start out with the flour? Dry ingredients. So she's going to put that through the sifter, um, and that's going to help separate any clumps and stuff like that. And it's also going to bring a little bit of air into it. So Clem, um, while you're doing that, do you remember why popovers pop? Because the steam and the air that's released inside the popover, and then the gluten holds the air in, creating the bubble, right? Yeah, there's lots and lots of water in the milk, and that is going to go into a really hot oven, and it's going to turn to steam, and then uh, that steam is going to try to get out and expand, but it's going to be held in by the gluten matrix of the popover batter. So that's what's going to happen. Awesome. Uh, and while Clementine is doing that, let's come over here and we'll put some pans in the oven. So this is a popover pan. This is the exact same kind we use at Clover. Um, and it's a, I think it's a company called Chicago um, Metallics or something like that. Uh, it works great, but you, if you don't have one of these, uh, you can use a muffin tin. So this is just a muffin tin. I think we got this for free one time at um, the local grocery store. Um, but a muffin tin can work fine as well. And I'll get that in there. This is a very hot oven. So this is at 450 degrees right now. And I've let it heat up a bit. It, uh, my oven's a convection oven. Uh, if you don't have convection, it'll all work fine. The cook time can just be a little bit longer. So, how much flour is in here right now? That is two cups of flour. All right, awesome. Now let's do um, uh, let's add the salt and the sugar here. Okay. So when I was first okay. figuring out how to make popovers, Clementine was a little teeny girl because it was when we were starting Clover, and um, I always loved popovers myself. My dad made them for us when we were kids. It was like a special occasion thing. And, um, and I just, I always had great memories about popovers. And popovers are a New England pastry. They may be one of the only pastries that's truly from New England. And they're almost extinct right now. And the reason is because unlike croissants and muffins, things like that, they don't really hold very well. And so, um, so they, they're not very compatible with the way that we make and sell food right now. So, um, uh, we, we do them at Clover in small batches. That's really the only way to do them. But when you make them at home, the fun thing is they're so yummy that they'll, they won't last anyway. You won't need to hold them. People just gobble them up. Uh, when I was first figuring out how to make popovers, I was making them on a food truck, which had a lot of problems, um, a lot of difficulties. And um, the uh, uh, one of the things is I would pack measuring cups and stuff like that and then they would get broken or they wouldn't get packed again the next day so i started building all the recipes off of what we call delis in the industry so those plastic delis which are quart sized containers so this whole original recipe was built around that we would do a dozen eggs which was easy to remember um, we would do a quart of flour and we do a little more than a quart of milk and that was the original recipe we've scaled that down so this is half the size and the original recipe had one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. And this is a half recipe, so it's half of all those ingredients. So we've got the dry ingredients here, awesome. And then you wanna go ahead and crack some eggs. Here. Awesome. Do you have any tips for people on cracking eggs? Um, well, I guess crack on like a flat surface and in the middle of the egg. And then just try it apart with your fingers. And... All right, awesome.
awesome. And now uh, we're going to need a whisk for that. There you go. Um, and tell people a little bit about what you're doing. Um, if you can come in with the camera so you can see the egg yolks being broken. I'm just breaking the egg yolk so it's easier to mix. So if you stir, start trying to stir the eggs before you've broken those yolks, it's harder to get everything to come together. Now I'm just going to do it this way. some milk. Are you ready for the milk? Yeah. So you want to beat this to the point where it's all one color. You don't want any dark yolks in there. You don't want any whites that are still visible. We're going to then add the milk in. So that's uh, two cups of milk and we need to add uh, one half of a cup in addition to that. All right. There you go, I want to beat that up. And it, one of the things that will help you make your popovers pop is mixing your liquid ingredients separately from your dry ingredients, and then we'll add the liquid to the dry. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Wanna go ahead and add it in? It's a pretty color. I'm going in a circle in the center and then out along the edges. So you can see some lumps in there. That's okay. We're, we're actually going to leave some of the lumps in. Um, and it's a little bit like making pancakes. If you beat it too hard, you might make them tough. So you don't try to get to a point where all the lumps are gone, but you don't want them to be too lumpy either. So here, let me just, so this is, if you see, um, this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna drag that whisk through there a couple more times. And what you want is you want a texture that is um, sort of like heavy cream. So it's, uh, that's what the batter should be like, it's like heavy cream. Uh, all right, awesome. And uh, let's go ahead and get the butter in the pans. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little piece of butter. This is not a very scientific part of popovers. Um, you can put a little pad of butter in each. I would be um, a bit on the generous side here because you're gonna need that butter to be lubricating the side of the pan. And that's what is going to allow your popover to really pop. If you don't have enough butter in there, you might have trouble popping. The more seasoned the pan is, the less butter you need. But uh, to get started, you definitely need to be a little bit on the generous side. And so this is, a, again, it's a very hot oven. It's 450 degrees. So this just came out of that hot, hot oven. Um, and we're going to put these little pads of butter in there. And then we're just going to let those um, melt and, uh, and then we're going to pour the batter in. They just take about 30 seconds to melt. At this stage, something that you really want to do is make sure you are all set up before you take that hot pan out because you don't want the pan to cool down too much. So you want to have a nice surface where you can um, pour all the batter. What we'll do is we'll grab a little rack and put it right here and this will be the station where we pour the batter. And um, you come on in, it's closer so you can see what's going on. Um, all right, and I'm going to pull that out. All right, so you see the, the butter's all melted. It's getting just past the bubbly stage. And Clementine's gonna pour right in the middle. There you go, and stop. Now you're gonna go up, just gonna go up a little bit more than halfway, stop. Yep, there you go, and that's good. You don't want to overload it because there'll be too much weight for the pop over to really pop. Um, okay. And so, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. 
and then we'll pull the next one out. This is the muffin tin. Um, all right, so we'll just make up six of these. You can see the butter's just starting to brown. You don't want it to be too dark. And uh, Clem's gonna load these up a little higher, so a little more than halfway this time. Uh, and these will make fine popovers. They'll just, uh, they won't be as cylindrical and tall. You got it? Yep. All right, so this is going in the oven. Okay, so that's gonna cook at 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, we're gonna turn that temperature down to 350 degrees, and we're gonna do another 15 minutes, and, um, and we'll have popovers. Um, so now we're gonna transition a little bit, and we're going to uh, do a phone call with George Howell and talk about coffee and how to make coffee.